mean, it's so good. Look at that. So hello gamers and welcome back to another video. So a couple of days ago, there was a massive update and there were so many balance changes to ammo types and SMGs and stuff like that. So today I'm going to be talking about 10 of the best guns from this update. These guns are all insane. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe because we're so close to 100,000 subs. But let's get into it. The first gun is actually the G3. Yeah, the G3 is good this update. First off, you can use that double yellow laser setup, which is going to make it a heck of a lot more accurate. And secondly, armor piercing is insane on this gun so this gun still has that you know one head one torso or limb that it did before because it has a two times headshot multi but if you didn't know armor piercing now increases your torso multiplier and it does lower your max damage but over range your damage is exactly the same really really accurate recoil and it also three hits to the torso at any range this can three hit all ranges now yes the g3 is a good gun now if you didn't know this gun is my highest kill gun i have 8,000 kills on it and suddenly it's just become like the best gun in the whole game and also ap gives it you know more armor penetration which is pretty nice as well it's kind of ridiculous that this gun is good again it was super goaded for a little bit then they nerfed it now you can run double yellow laser and have pretty decent handling on it as well as insane recoil and be able to three hit kill people at any range. It's really good. Also, the fact that you can two hit kill to the head at any range is good as well. But yeah, the gun's just accurate and it does a lot of damage now. It's like actually so good. Next up, we have, of course, the MP5K. Now I'm going to be running a really weird setup for it for a desert storm scenario. However, if you didn't know, the MP5K is the rank zero SMG. So you have this basically the second you make your account. Not basically, you just have it the second you make your account. So this is going to be the SMG that you have to use for a few ranks until you rank up. But actually, now you can just use it for the rest of all time because this gun is really good. Now, currently, I have long barrel, you know, yellow lasers and the 10 millimeter conversion, which does increase your recoil. But it increases your damage up to 48, 48, almost 50 damage. It's ridiculous. It also does 21 over range, which is still a five hit all ranges. And it's normally a six hit at range. So you're also getting better min damage. Keep in mind, your recoil is not great. And this is not a long range conversion because the muzzle velocity is already 9900 which is not very good however up close this is basically going to be a three hit kill to the body very very far and a two hit if you're hitting any kind of headshots or anything as you can see there i am just destroying people the minimum time to kill this gun is 0 0.07 seconds is this gun too good at the moment honestly it's probably too good i'm not gonna lie like i don't think this one really needed that three hit or 48 damage or anything like this but you know i'm not complaining rank zero is gonna be the easiest rank like literally rank zero gun now better than any other smg i think it might be the best smg but we'll talk about it because there's also some really good other ones next up is an assault rifle it's the l85 now the l85 it's not normally been that good recently it used to be the best uh ar in the entire game now it has of course a p this basically makes it a four to a four it can always four hit kill all ranges now it does need all four torso shots what I just, I just teleported back into the house, okay. But yeah, this gun can four hit kill all ranges again, essentially. If you didn't know before, it used to do 25 min damage, and now it basically does 25 min. Keep in mind, you have to hit all four torsos, but because of limb penetration, you can actually hit nearly all torsos, all ranges. A lot of people are like, well, you're gonna hit every torso every time. You're not gonna do it every time, but it will be very consistent for hit kill over range the gun's also just super accurate make sure to use ap when you use it you also get 1.5 studs of pen which is pretty decent the recoil on its own is very good muscle velocity is pretty good you know it's just an overall really good gun and now it's going to be very consistent for range probably not as good as it used to be but still very good because it used to have that four hit kill to the limbs all ranges now it's not necessarily to the limbs but it's still gonna four hit at range if you're using ap which is gonna make the gun really good yeah, very accurate. The next gun up is, of course, the MP7. Now, I talked about this in my video on all the changes. The MP7 now has become actually a really good gun. If you didn't know before, it was it was a good gun, and then they nerfed it, and then it's, it wasn't that good anymore. But now, it has 18 min, 30 damage up close, and it has a torso multi. So, it does 33 down to almost 20 damage over range. Almost 20, but not quite there. So, you can actually get a 5 hit kill with just one single headshot, which is pretty nice. And also, yeah, the recoil, it's not great, but it does have the new system. So I wonder if I can just use double yellow. Either way, this gun has really good pen. It reloads faster now. The damage is really good now. It's honestly kind of crazy because it feels like it can uh, three hit, but it can't three hit. It is still a four hit unless you're hitting headshots, but it just, it kills so fast. Here's the main thing about this versus the other SMGs. Let me just show you. 2400 muzzle velocity versus, uh, somebody said MP5 SD. Let's look at the MP5 SD muzzle velocity. Where is it? 
1200 with plus B and it normally has like 1100. So this thing has like two or maybe even more time the velocity of all the other SMGs. The next gun, and I hate to say it because I really didn't used to like this gun very much. I always preferred the AK-105, but it's the AK-107 with bars barrel. Now they changed the recoil and, you know, on the default gun, the default gun's all right, you know, but if you run bars barrel and you run the double yellow lasers, it has genuinely zero recoil. As you can see, like you can kill people from the entire map away. As you can see, if somebody's actually like peeking their full body, uh, you're gonna be able to hit them at any range. For 850 RPM, four hit to what is like five? I don't know if it's a six at range. No, four to a five, 850 RPM. That's like, you know, HK416 time to kill, but it's way, way better. Now the next gun is kind of similar to the L85. It's gonna be a little bit better for people who don't like the recoil of the L85 because it has pretty low recoil. But the recoil on the L85 kind of feels weird. And that is Alk A1 with AP. Now Alk A1 is basically the same concept as the L85, where now the Alk A1 is able to four hit kill torso all ranges with AP. Essentially, you made the uh, Scar L, but 680 RPM. Next gun up, which is number four on the list, is the UMP-40. The UMP-45 is really good with this update, but I feel like UMP-40 might be like kind of meta. It's a rank five gun, but it does 40 to 18 with 740 RPM. And the recoil is also pretty low. I'm using a vertical. Like I'm not even using like a very good overall recoil setup for this gun. And it kind of beams still. It has torso multi. It has really high rate of fire let me actually just put like a stubby grip and then maybe a yellow laser on it let me try this oh my gosh look at that dude so this has more rpm than a lot of your assault rifles but it does like ak-47 damage it's not the best for range because the muzzle velocity is bad and the main damage is bad but if you're running it for close range this might be better than some of your mp5ks or whatever like stuff like that because it has that three hit kill range to a much further distance and it has torso multi it can still five hit with torsos at range which still makes it like all right for range but i'm not gonna lie the muzzle velocity is just not there anymore it wasn't even there before but on ump 40 the muzzle velocity was good the next gun up is the m60 yes this is 2024 and the m60 is a meta can you believe it guys is it is it 2018 or something I'm just gonna go over everything this gun got okay so it used to do 37 damage up close with no torso multi now it does 42 up close with a 1.15 so it went from 37 damage up to 46 damage so it got basically 10 more damage up close at long range it went from 24 to 32 and it also has a torso multi so it's got like 10 more damage at long range it also has 650 rpm instead of 600 or 580 or whatever it had before but it actually goes down in rpm the more you shoot it the slower it fires which is kind of an interesting change but yeah this gun can three hit kill all ranges now it also has better headshot multi than it did before so what at range the headshot multi is going to be insane so it can almost two hit kill to the head at any range and it has 650 rpm now it probably has the new recoil system so i don't really have the proper loadout for it, it also reloads slower so they just made it as op as physically possible like it, it is actually just the best gun in the game now and they're probably going to revert this in like a week because they literally made it op on purpose and yeah the m60 is back this is literally the best version of the m60 we've ever had as well by the way just keep that in mind like the m60 was known as the best gun in the game for so long now it's literally like even better than it was back then yeah with a proper loadout you can three hit kill people at any range at 650 rpm the ranges are insane the velocity is insane the damage is insane i don't know now, number two we got the chris vector now the vector actually it might be up there with the mp5k the mp5k with 10 mil and long barrel it might be my new favorite smg i'm not gonna lie the vector it has some goofy loadouts like you can actually make it accurate for example muzzle break and double yellow uh i was using this and yeah you can actually get it to be pretty accurate if you didn't know the vector has really really bad muzzle velocity now however it has 40 one damage up close to 17 at range but it has a slight torso multi so it can kill with like one torso and one headshot and it has i don't even know how far it can three hit it's ridiculous so yeah well you can't beam people from 150 studs anymore like you used to be able to with it um i still think it's way better even though it felt like it was gonna be a vector nerf and uh, they just made it way better right after that i'm not gonna lie they didn't even go with like the new recoil on it they're like yeah we won't even make the new recoil we'll just um give it the old recoil but more recoil but uh we'll also just make it have no recoil if you use this setup and also it's op 22 is actually kind of cracked i won't lie to you because it has no recoil well it has some but i was just pulling down and uh any of these ones you can just pull down and, and they have no recoil it's actually like a gun that has a pattern to it i guess it's not really a pattern but you know it just goes up 
And yeah, um, if you didn't know, 22 has a 20 round mag now and does 75 headshot now, which I wanted the 75 headshot. I don't know if I wanted the, the 20 round mag, but it's there. So uh, Vector 22 is actually like a viable conversion now. Like you don't even have to hit hedge. If you hit the heads, it's going to be very good. And the reload time is really fast as well. I think they kept the old reload. I don't know. Vector 22 is good. 357 SIG also has that fast reload, but the damage is absolutely ridiculous. It does like 48 to the torso. Overall, I'd say the Vector is... I don't know if it's better than the MP5K because the MP5K has that like larger magazine. It just kills just about as quickly. Probably still would use the Vector over it. Honorable mention, we have the Tar-21 also with AP. Now this gun doesn't really have as good recoil as the other ones I mentioned so far. However, it has a torso multi and it has 23 at range. It did 22 at range and it had a torso multi so it could almost four hit kill all ranges. However, it couldn't until AP. So now AP makes this essentially a 404. Um, but the recoil is not nearly as good. So yeah, that's why this is an honorable mention. But for the last spot, and I talked about this in one of my previous videos, the AK-12 BR change is here. They basically gave it like a bars barrel type recoil. However, if you run Halbic device and two yellow lasers, it gives it this recoil. And that's just on the auto. However, the burst has what, like 40% more recoil? That's gonna have a lot of recoil. It's not that much recoil, considering the fact that this gun can four hit to like 100 studs and no, no, it can three hit to 100 studs, maybe more, probably a little bit more, uh, two hit kill head to about that range and also four hit to the limbs, any range has really high muzzle velocity and yeah, it's going to kill really fast because it has a thousand RPM, fires faster than the MP5K, but it has like very, very, very good range and yeah, it's one of the best guns in the game right now. All these guns can four hit. It's the new meta of the four hitting guns over range. I'm just kidding. That was a meta before with assault rifles. With the reload time buff on it as well, I don't know. This is one of the best guns in the game, easily, hands down. I also really love these hyperburst guns because it's like a burst weapon, but you actually don't have to think about using the burst weapon because you can just click as quickly as possible, and that's how you win. Anyways, gamers, that's going to do it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash like. We're trying to get to 100,000 subs, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.